Today, we're gonna be going beyond basic vocal delays. We're gonna get a little creative and a little more complex with the effect, and I'll be showing you four tricks to level up your vocal delays with a legend, the Eventide H3000 band delays. If you want more interesting delays and some ways to paint your vocals with more unique depth and color, this delay will inspire you and help you fill out the stereo space in all the right places. Count down the seconds Till you make it better Just for a moment Count down the seconds Till you make it better Just for a moment Just for a moment The band delays let you take any sound separated by frequency bands, and then you can individually process these bands with different delays, panning, filters, movement, and modulation. You can process up to eight voices. And like a band, it's all in how you make these voices work together and give them their place to exist or move on the stage or within the stereo field. All right, let's start off by taking a dry mono vocal and using the band delays, we can make it wider and more interesting and get more creative with the sound. So here's the dry vocal in mono. When I'm going left, you make a right It's been a minute since we've been all right So on the band delays, we're going to start by creating two additional voices. And each voice has its filter type. So for this, I'm going to switch the filters to none. And then on this first red voice, I'll pin it to one side. And then I'll set a really short delay time. When I'm going left, you make a right I mean, really short. It's been a minute since we've been all right. Count down the seconds till you make it better just for a moment. Like five to 30 milliseconds long is good. And then on the second voice, this orange one, I'll leave it at zero milliseconds. But then I'll go and pan it to the opposite side. When I'm going left, you make a right. It's been a minute since we've been all right. Now you can always make it wider by going further left or right with the sound. The trick to hitting the sweet spot with the enhancement is balancing the delay time of the first voice in relation to the volume on the second voice along with the pan amount. When I'm going left, you make a right. It's been a minute since we've been all right. Count down the seconds. So you make it better, just for a moment, count down the seconds. All right, so once you get the width, let's get a little more creative with the sound. I'm gonna create two more additional voices. We'll go with a high pass filter on each voice and I'll slide them over to a half note and they sound like this. Count down the seconds. Down the seconds. So you make it better, just for a moment, just for a moment. And then on this fourth voice right here, I'm just gonna nudge the delay just a couple milliseconds, just like I did in the first one here on the left. And then what you want to do is experiment with the panning and the placement. And what I want to do is try to place these two voices around the first voice to texturize it. Count down the seconds. Down the seconds. So you make so it better. Make it better. Just for, just for. Count down the seconds. Down the seconds. So you make so it better. Make it better. Just for. Mono vocal nice and wide, a little thicker and more livelier in the mix. Now using a combination of different delay times on a single source, along with filtering the individual bands, it's a great way to stimulate the vocals with movement and depth, but also add to the rhythm and the vibe of the track. So we're gonna be working with this vocal stack. Count down the seconds till you make it better. Just for a moment. So on the band delays, for this effect, we're gonna use four voices, but you can go up to six if you wanted to. So to start building the effect out, I'm gonna start with this first red voice. I'm gonna go with a high pass filter. And then I'm gonna set it to roll off some of the lows. And then for a slapback effect, I'll start by setting the tempo to about a 16th note. Count down the seconds till you make it better. Just for a moment. Seconds. All right, next I'll open two more voices. And on those, I'm gonna set these to a half note. I'm gonna bring that feedback up to about a half note. I'll pan them hard left and hard right. And I'll set the frequency range on these, just so that that filtered sound is sitting right within that upper mid range. And with just these two voices, it sounds like this. Count down the seconds. Count down the seconds. 
Till you make it better Just for a moment Count down the seconds Alright, let's go with one more voice for the combination For the fourth one We'll go with the good old quarter note I'll keep it centered We'll keep the bandpass filter on this voice But I just want to adjust the frequency And I'm just going to move it in between the range of those other two voices Just so I have that quarter note delay Only hitting that area Count down the seconds so you make it better Just for a moment Count down the seconds Alright, and now all the voices in combination We get this Count down the seconds So you make it better Just for a moment Count down the seconds So you make it better Just for a moment Just for a moment See, we carved out the space for all these different delay speeds to live together in the mix and not clash with each other, and the vocals sound nice and buttery. Now with the ability to separate the vocals frequency-wise on the band delays, we can modulate these individual bands and create a greater sense of complexity to the effect. All right, so to do this from scratch, starting off with four voices, I've got them all band passed. And then what I like to do is separate them out between different tap points, different timings. And then I'll play it back and start spreading them out with the panners. All right, and now we're gonna make these move and fluctuate across the spectrum. So to do that, Go to the function page, and down here you've got the function generator. We've got all these different types of wave shapes. Either a sine or a triangle is good for the start of this. We're going to be making these bands sway back and forth across the frequency spectrum, just like that. So we're going to take this frequency, or the global frequency control right here, and we're going to assign the function generator to it. And now the bands are going to start to move on their own. So to change the speed and the depth of that, on the function generator, you've got the rate and the amplitude, which you can dial in right here. Or you make it easier, you assign it to the soft keys, and that's what this plugin is for. So under the parameter mods, change the FG, or the function generator rate, to soft key one. All right, and then for the depth, we'll change the FG amplitude, or the function generator amplitude, to soft key two. And then if you want, you can change the names of them. Let's call soft key one the speed. We'll call the second one depth. And then we can adjust these while we look at everything at a glance. All right, and now we're going to make it go kind of up and down, give it a resonant effect to it. So we'll do the same thing with the function generator. We'll assign that to the global Q now. And we'll get the added resonance to the whole effect. Bring up the feedback, add a little more drama to it. Now you definitely want to try experimenting by modulating other parameters. For example, you can modulate the global delay. Make the effect go back and forth. You try different wave shapes, switching up the behavior of the bands, and the way they move, behave. Definitely a delay you experiment with, get involved with, you can never get bored with it. All right, so for the last one, we're gonna trigger the delays and the individual bands with MIDI. On the Band Delays plugin, you can hook up your MIDI controller to it and control individual frequency bands with MIDI in real time, like that, as you play it. Or if you're not a good piano player, you can always take something like MIDI chords, assign those to the plugin, and your vocal delays will be in tune to the key of your track. What I'm gonna do is convert these chords right here All right, what I'll first do is I'll turn these chords into MIDI, just using Ableton's built-in converter. We'll check out the conversion, maybe remove any ghost notes. All 
And then what you do is assign this MIDI track to the vocal track with the HV1000 band delays on it. All right, now in the plugin, once you have your voices timed and spaced out the way you like them, you flip open the Expert tab. And over here, you've got this MIDI note mode, where if you select Gated, and as the notes play, it'll morph and delay in real time, creating a more dynamic and expressive and in-tune effect. Count down the seconds, seconds Till you make it better Just for a moment Count down the seconds Till you make it better Just for a moment Just for a moment So then if you want, you can just tailor the MIDI to make the bands dance tune and in real time triggering those delays only when you want them to kick in when I'm going left, you make a right It's been a minute since we've been alright Count down the seconds The H3000 band delays That delay plugin In terms of getting creative and taking your effects to the next level This plugin definitely gonna get you there And take your delays and don't forget to check the link in the description. I left you with the presets from the tricks you just saw in this video. And to learn even more about the H3000 band delays, head over to eventideaudio.com right now. Well, I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Picked up some inspiration. Until next time. <laughs>